How do we move from the atomic world to the regular world? Because atoms are so tiny, how can we count and measure them? Well, in today's episode, we're going to be looking at Avogadro's number and the mole. Go to a balance and measure out 56 trillion ion atoms. Then combine them with 108 billion oxygen molecules. Hopefully, you can see the flaws in these statements. How are we supposed to measure out 56 trillion ion atoms? There has to be a way to count and measure these atoms, but because they are so small, and we will usually be dealing with so many of them, a different method needs to be used to count out and measure these little guys. If a dozen oranges weigh about 5 kilograms, so 12 oranges, and I wanted you to get me 50 dozen oranges, what could you do? Well, you could either count out 600 oranges, which would obviously take you a while, or you could keep adding oranges to a scale until you reach 250 kilograms, right? Well, the exact same idea is used in chemistry because it would be so ridiculous to count out individual atoms. Again, just like the oranges, we will rely on their weight as a tool to help us count them. So will we be grouping them in dozens or weighing them in kilograms? Well, probably not. We will be using what we already know about the weight or the mass of an atom we can find the atomic weight right under the symbol of the element on the periodic table. For example, the average iron atom will have a mass of 55.8 atomic mass units. And remember that one atomic mass unit is very small, about the mass of a proton or neutron. Because balances in the chemistry lab don't measure atomic mass units, we're going to need to scale this up to something that does, grams. So just how many atomic mass units are equal to one gram? Well, the answer is it's a very, very big number. 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Luckily, this has a special name. It's called Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number is more commonly called the mole. The mole is just a large number, a way to count how many of something you have, and obviously a very large number. Again, it is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. This is a relatively simple concept, but it tends to be one of the biggest hurdles for your 11 students when learning chemistry. The reason is because the number is so large, your brain has trouble even comprehending it. Here's an example. If I had a dozen basketballs, how many basketballs would there be? Obviously, the answer is 12, right? The same concept applies to moles. If I had a mole of basketballs, that would mean I would have 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 basketballs. That's a lot of basketballs, man. Just to summarize today's lesson, remember, one mole is equal to Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Going back to iron, which has atomic mass unit of 55.8, if I had 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms of iron, that would equal to one gram. Rah, rah, rah.